there is no room in the Republican Party for anti-Semitism or white supremacy. And anyone meeting with people advocating that point of view, in my judgment, are highly unlikely to ever be elected president of the United States. It doesn't sound like it based on his monotone delivery, but that's Mitch McConnell firing some shots at Donald Trump over his recent dinner with white nationalist Nick Fuentes. And he's warning that keeping such company within the Republican Party can, um, well, he's, he's claiming it's gonna hurt Trump in a presidential run. But in reality, he's concerned that it's hurting the Republican Party. Mm-hmm. That's what's really going on here. Now, Trump, for his part, did what he does best. He uh, attacked Mitch McConnell. <laughs> so uh, in an interview with Fox Digital, wow, you're really getting downgraded here, aren't you, Trump? Uh, he called the GOP leader a loser. He mm-hmm. says, Mitch is a loser for our nation and for the Republican Party, who would not have been reelected in Kentucky without my endorsement, which he begged me for because he was going down. <laughs> <laughs> His well financed opponent had 93 million ready to spend when I drove him from two points down to 21 points up in a matter <laughs> of. My <laughs> God! It is more plausible to be like, oh, our dear leader, he has literally never bowled anything but a strike than in a couple days he moved the polls 23 points. Okay, let's my just. Oh, God. People are gonna disagree with me. It's okay. You can disagree with me, you can call me names, but I'm gonna stick to this point because I believe in it. In an ideal world, Donald Trump fails in his bid to become president again. Mm -hmm. And there's no chance, he'll never be president again. But he's back on Twitter as the country's top insult comic. (laughs) And he's not a threat anymore, because he's gonna have no political power. No, I'm saying in a perfect world. What he says and does can still result in damage. It's one thing when he's insulting Mitch McConnell, when more he's attacking gay Trump, people, and Muslims, that. or more then it that. gets a little bit more damaging. But sure, if he was just attacking Mitch McConnell and it's so Paul th- Ryan or whatever, Ted Cruz, fine, I'll take that gladly. It, it's so tasty when he does yeah. it toward Republicans like Chris yeah. Christie, Mitt Romney. I don't care, any yeah. Republican, do it, go for it. Yeah. Um, Trump again claimed that he had never heard of Nick Fuentes, which I don't buy for a second. I had no idea what his views were. By the way, he still hasn't condemned Nick Fuentes' views. How about do that? Yeah. And they weren't expressed at the table in our very quick dinner, very or quick dinner. or it wouldn't have been accepted. I love his point. It's very quick. Oh, okay. Oh, it was quick. Oh, so you were with a racist, anti-Semite, misogynist, but it was a quick dinner. Quick it was dinner. Brief. I yeah. mean, they didn't even have time for chocolate cake. What about the chocolate cake? I would cake? only be offended if I there heard, was chocolate cake. I heard they have the best Jesus. chocolate cake at Mar-a-Lago. By it's the way, giant. It's delicious. It's moist. <laughs> he loves it. That was needless. Um, <laughs> I I want to thank him for sending that message and shredding. The already transparently ridiculous argument provided by his team as to supposedly why he wasn't attacking Nick Fuentes more. Mm-hmm. So an article came out yesterday and it was like, the reason yeah. they gave, and this is amazing, who says right wingers can't do comedy, was that <gasps> They're he getting liked, really good at comedy and we're I getting know, nervous I'm about getting it. I'm getting nervous about it. <laughs> they said he didn't want to criticize Nick Fuentes more because Trump likes to avoid confrontation. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> There was He's a, got a nickname for everyone. There was also a story by NBC claiming that the whole thing was a setup to make Trump look bad, and they were really trolling Trump. Well, supposedly the the Milo or Milo yeah. or whatever the, the pedophile guy. Yeah. Supposedly he says he did it as a setup to yeah. hurt him. Yeah. He said that he did it because Trump really let him down, and he wanted to make Trump miserable. Mm-hmm. Um, but Nick Fuentes is saying that. He was not in on it and he has no interest in making Trump look bad. And I actually believe Nick Fuentes because Nick Fuentes looks at Trump as his daddy and always has, always will. He never turned on Trump, ever. So mm-hmm. like the idea that Nick Fuentes would engage in something that would make Trump look yeah. bad. I mean, he's so he lacks any and all self-awareness. Yeah, well, he doesn't so know he when does- the things he does make him look bad. Why would he know that it would affect other people? Exactly, exactly. Also, I, I don't ca- I don't care about any of it. Like I don't no. care if that was Milo's plan. I don't care what Would Nick I, Fuentes wanted. I don't even 
I don't even that much care about the dinner, honestly, because again, it's just more in of the comparison same. to so many things that have been done. What's the difference? Like, oh, it's a good reminder to everyone that Trump is the same person he's always been. But like, is this somehow supposed to make me think, oh, well, you know, when he said that there were good good people on both sides mm. in Charlottesville, well, this is this is worse. No, it's not. When he was apologizing for Nazis who just murdered a girl. This is this does not measure up to that. The Proud Boys stuff, like he, he's been the QAnon stuff, a million times he's buttressed these insane movements. Yeah. So we had a dinner with Kanye. Like, yeah, it's bad, but it, it's it would be the worst thing a random person has done. It's the three hundredth worst thing Trump has ever done. I guess the only upside to this story is that for the first time you have members of the Republican Party. Not providing cover for Trump, but actually criticizing him. So like McConnell has done the criticism in the past before, not pertaining to Trump's racism. He's never really cared about that. And actually to that point, someone wrote in in our members comments and said, let's go to that McConnell comment. Um, Basically, that like racism has been a Republican strategy forever, mm -hmm. you know, like to, McCon to Mitch McConnell, and he yeah. knows that. Um, but anyway, I do want to just quickly go to one other person who's uh, commenting on this and criticizing Trump, and that's Kevin McCarthy. He offered his own mild criticism, saying, "Quote: The president can have meetings with who he wants, but I don't think anybody should have a meeting with Nick Fuentes, and his views are nowhere within the Republican Party or within the country itself." It's not true. That is not true. Um, in fact, uh, there was a new study. I want to make sure that I get the stat right here. Uh, that showed, uh, let's go. One in four hiring managers say they're less likely to hire Jewish applicants. Whew. So yeah, it, it, it apparently does exist in the country uh, to an extent that we should be incredibly uncomfortable with yeah. and should want to root out. Um, and then even uh, Netanyahu, a longtime Trump ally, uh, didn't provide cover, but also this criticism isn't strong criticism. And it's gross that it's not strong criticism. He says this, the meeting was just wrong and misplaced. I think it's a mistake, he shouldn't do that. I hope it's not repeated. I hope. Still stand by him if it is repeated. So again, like okay, credit to whatever Republicans kind of criticize him a little bit mm -hmm. for now, but understand they only feel like they can do that because they think maybe DeSantis will be the candidate. If DeSantis drops out, they will immediately stop criticizing Trump. If Trump beats DeSantis, they will immediately stop criticizing Trump. So this is very conditional temporary criticism unless Trump somehow loses and even then What's what like, oh, then they're 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 good because they're standing against racism, but they're going for DeSantis, the guy flying migrants all over the country against yeah. their will. So again, this is not the anti-racist move they would like you to believe it is. 100%. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.